everyone, welcome back to another episode of Drawing Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, so I reckon that last week, uh, somehow, Fire Emblem Heroes heard my call and it gave me another Valentia character and it gave me the protagonist this time, which, uh, to Bakut's sort of dismay, uh, we got Arm. <laughs> so yeah, we got Brave Arm, which is like his sort of alternate version where he's wearing his actual outfit from the original Gaiden game which if you have like the instruction manual or you just see a PDF of the instruction manual you'll see that uh, like a lot of these brave heroes have like outfits that either relate to like their original games or to like something to do with their character history etc etc but yeah it's kind of cool that we're getting brave out I haven't got him before which is actually really good because I've been wanting to get him since he dropped and then ever since I reworked him to sort of fit more modern times with power creep and everything and I've heard that he's acting I've heard he's like an actual tank and he's actually really good so I've been hoping to get him for a while now and uh, yay finally I've got him but yeah he's one of the like main protagonists of Shadows of Valentia along with Celica and uh, he's kind of cool in like the way that he's not he doesn't know about his like family heritage and uh the people the people looking after him don't let on either but unfortunately like he gets found out eventually especially with um the Baku thing going on <laughs> but yeah let's needless to say uh Baku doesn't really like Alm and like in the beginning it's like for like reasons where he's like hello farm boy and i'm like oh my god the, the sass on this dude i like it <laughs> but then later on he like finds out and then he goes uh kind of insane which gives us the full and bakut ult which is kind of cool but also really sad in context and it just makes me wish that you could recruit Baku as a character like if there was like an alternate version where he just didn't go insane and <laughs> you could recruit him to like, Alm's army which would be really really cool and there's probably a mod out there that does that but like it would be cool if that was like an official thing but thank god that Fire Emblem Heroes exist so we can have three different versions of Baku uh there's quite a few different versions of Alm from my opinion as well like I think I've got all of them now like there's the basic sort of arm um there's also the brave arm the legendary arm which originally when you dropped it cost me way too many orbs because I got Naga for free the previous month and I was like huh wouldn't it be really cool if I just got a free arm and then it just kind of descended into me spending all my orbs just to please myself and getting this arm which I eventually did. He's a pretty okay unit, but power creep and everything kind of outdates him now. I think he got a remix recently, but mm, mm, doesn't make him as good as some of these newer ones that are coming out. It's crazy. Uh, there's also the Valentine's Arm and Celica duo hero, which is really cute because it's like both of them together holding a bouquet, and that was like my first duo hero. And I'm so proud of it because they are just so adorable. Can we just protect them, please? I can't think of any other alts. There's probably something out there that I'm forgetting. I don't think he's got one of these uh, ascended units yet, but I think he's definitely had one of the resplendent sort of remakes. But I don't have Fae Pass, so I can't comment on how that looks. Hopefully, next week we get another Valentia character because oh my god, we're on a roll. <laughs> I need more! I need more characters I know of! That would be just amazing! Please! Fire Emblem! I know you're dropping a new banner in a few days, but please! I just... I just want another Valentia character! <laughs> Anyways, yes, that's pretty much it for me this week, and hopefully I'll see you all again for another episode of Drawing Fire Emblem Heroes. See ya!